Last week, I spoke to a group of about 60 CEOs, all of them leading larger companies, say 100 million up to multi-billions. The key topic was about staying agile, nimble, and relevant. So guess what? If you're a startup, small company, and afraid of getting crushed by big companies, well, you know, the big companies are afraid of being outmaneuvered by small ones. Every single business stage has strengths and weaknesses. So wherever you are, maximize your strengths. Probably, I don't know, 20 years ago, I read a book by Lou Gerstner called Who Says Elephants Can't Dance? And Lou Gerstner led IBM from kind of the edge of failure to become a powerhouse again. I spent time at RJR, RJ Reynolds, now RJR Nabisco, Amex, some pretty big companies. He's an old McKinsey guy as well. But, you know, I shared one of my insights with a group. It was not a quote from the book, but it's one of my thoughts around it. And I think it fits you all today as well. And that was that growing bigger doesn't mean losing your startup soul. And it's something that I never, ever want to lose, no matter how big companies get. So let's dig into how savvy leaders stay nimble and hungry as their company scales up, even into the nine and 10 figure territory. Sound good? I think at any size, it's tempting to get complacent once you find a winning formula. You just want to ride that thing off into the sunset. Hold on to it. Keep doing it, right? Your startup may have disrupted one industry, but a constantly changing market means fresh startups want to eat your lunch tomorrow, wherever you are. Yesterday, point solutions were all the rage, right? And today, it's all about having a suite of products all in one. So how do industry leaders stay scrappy and innovative even after they make it big? How do they avoid stalling out when they achieve success? And I think it comes down to two words, relentless reinvention. Take Lego, for example. They've been around 75 years or so. For a long time, they were their core bricks. You know, they made Legos. <laughs> That's what they did. I mean, kids bought them, built whatever we imagined. When you grew up with them, you probably did too. And they could have stayed there, you know, making the same thing over and over. But markets developed around them. Digital markets, media, and quite a bit more. And so what did they do? Well, they expanded video games, movies, robotics kits, and quite a bit more. Constantly reinventing what Lego means to each new generation of kids and families. I mean, a Lego set today is nothing like it was when I was a kid. And to adopt this innovative mindset, here are three keys. First, make time for exploration. Book in thinking time or dream days on your calendar to imagine adjacent markets or completely new offerings. Don't let the urgent crowd out the important long-term work of staying fresh, staying on the forefront. Protect and schedule time to think beyond today. I mean, no limits. You know, what could the world look like with your solution? What adjacent problems could you solve? What's the next logical step a user takes with your solution? What's the step they take right before? Second, we want to tap everyone for ideas. And I mean everyone. And it could be interns, support staff, because they might see consumer needs and possibilities that executives are blind to. You know, diversity of thought across roles and backgrounds fuels reinvention. Create a culture and feedback channels that welcome ideas from the entire company. Because those closest to the end user or the client day to day usually have the best insights. And as you grow bigger and bigger, that ain't you. Finally, rapidly prototype. I mean, how quickly can you do some market tests? And I love testing before we've built anything at all. Don't know how to do that? Let's talk. Not every experiment will succeed, but see the ones that do resonate can shape your future. And then move from idea to minimum viable product super fast to gather real world feedback. Survey responses, honestly, don't count. Dollar votes do. It's a difference in building a product that's really cool and one that is actually useful and makes money. But the key is to never see your startup success as the end goal or your scale up success or your unicorn status. Your disruption is just the beginning. By embracing relentless reinvention, industry leaders can keep their scrappiness, agility, and their soul alive. Remember, growing bigger doesn't mean losing your startup soul. 
And I'm curious, what's the one way that you reinvented your company that surprised your industry? Share stories of hustle and innovation in the comments below.